Manner of performing the partial ablution. Wudu. Performing wudu, and purification for that matter, is one of the best and most exalted deeds with which Allah forgives one's sins. As the Prophet said, when a Muslim servant of Allah washes his face in the course of performing wudu, every sin he has committed with his eyes is washed away from his face along with the water. When he washes his hands, every sin his hands have committed is washed away from his hands with the water. When he washes his feet, every sin towards which his feet have walked is washed away with water with the result that he comes out cleansed of all sins. Sahih Muslim 244 How to perform wudu and remove the minor ritual impurity If a Muslim wants to perform wudu, he intends to do so for the purpose of offering the prayer, but without making a verbal declaration, for the intention is a condition for all acts in Islam. The Prophet said, Actions are but by intentions. Sahih al-Bukhari 1 Sahih Muslim 1907 Then he starts the ablution, washing each part in a continuous manner without long intervals and in the following sequence. He says, Bismillah, in the name of Allah. He washes his hands up to the wrists three times. It is recommended to do so three times. He rinses out his mouth thoroughly by moving water around in the mouth and then spitting it out. He uses his right hand to take in water. It is obligatory to rinse out the mouth once, but it is recommended to do so three times. He cleans his nose by sniffing water into the nostrils and ejecting it out. It is recommended to snuff up water deeply without causing any harm to himself. It is obligatory to clean the nose once, but it is recommended to do so three times. He washes the entire face with both hands, from the top of the forehead to the bottom of the chin, and from ear to ear. The ears are not included in washing the face. It is obligatory to wash the face once, but it is recommended to wash it three times. He washes the right hand up the far end of the elbow, and then he does the same thing with the left hand and forearm. It is obligatory to wash the hands up to the elbows once, but it is recommended to do so three times. With wet hands, and starting with his hands flat on the top of the head near the hairline, he wipes it to the back of the neck. It is sunnah to wipe it back to the front. This should be done only once, unlike the case with other parts. With wet fingers, he wipes the inner sides of the ears with the forefingers, and their outer sides with the thumbs. This is also done once. He washes his feet up to the ankles, beginning with the right foot. It is obligatory to wash the feet only once, but it is recommended to wash them three times. If he is wearing a pair of socks, he can wipe over them with wet hands, but only under certain conditions.